guys, today we have a craft for our American Girl dolls. I was in the dollar store and I found these little mini paper bags for $1.25. They came in white or brown. Now I got the white ones because I wanted to be able to put logos on them. Now, if you don't have these, we can always make little bags ourselves, but these are the perfect size for our dolls to put their groceries in. And I wanted to be able to customize them. So you can use them just as is. They are a nice thick paper and they do have this little ridged edge. I know it's gonna be hard to see. They have this little ridged edge across the top. To customize these for our dolls, you can do many things. You can take a pencil and some pencil crayons, markers, crayons, and draw whatever you'd like on the bags. You can use stamps, or you can go through your local flyers if you get any, or print off logos of where you shop. So now I have a couple little logos that I've cut out. I have HelloFresh, and I have Walmart. We're not getting a lot of flyers because of COVID, but if you just cut them out, I'm gonna show you how. So you will need scissors and glue. And we're just gonna cut them out. That way our dolls can shop where we shop when you're playing. So let's cut the little Walmart one out. And if it's the right size, so this is from the flyer, you can cut it and glue it right on. And that. So let's just use our glue stick and we'll glue, glue, glue and press. And this is gonna be such an easy way to do a little craft. Look at how cute that looks. We can open up the bag and now when our dolls are going shopping, they have a little Walmart bag. This is so easy to do. And again, if you don't have these at your dollar store, you can just fold and glue the paper to make them. So there is our little Walmart bag. We can always put on the back the little star, or we can put this one. That way they have two. So I think I'm gonna leave the back blank on that one. And then on this one, I'm just gonna cut off the dot CA and trim this up. I had to go into the store to get the flyers because again, we're not getting them yet. Or you can go online and print them, but I just happen to be in the store and we will glue them on. Now this is super simple, there you go. Or you can, again, you can print, color, draw, but now my dolls have two different shopping bags for Walmart. Now let's face it, we don't all do our shopping at Walmart. We go to other stores as well. I also have these little HelloFresh, these are a bit thicker. I don't know how well they're going to glue on, but we are going to give it a try. Let's, oh, dropped it, dropped it. Okay, these ones you might maybe want to use hot glue, or sorry, white glue, because as you play with the bags, they are going to lift. So for these ones, maybe tape over it to keep it down because it is gonna lift. But I think if we gave it enough drying time, that little bag would look perfect. Let's do the last one. And then I have some more. So as these wear out, because I have 10 of them, I can always just replace them as I go to different stores get different flyers. I could make a whole collection of them. And so could you. So let's, oh, making a mess. Let's glue this one down and have a look at all the different places. There we go. Okay, now let's open these up. And again, you can always fold these out of paper. You can make your own bags out of scrap paper. I just couldn't resist the price and it's peeling off again. So yeah, I would definitely recommend tape over if it's a thicker logo like this one, 
But there you go. There are all of our different shopping bags. Let's put them in a... There. So now our dolls can go to Walmart. They can go to HelloFresh. You can put your own logo on. You can color it. If you have a printer, you can print any logo you'd like. Or you can just leave them plain white or plain brown bags, depending on what your dollar store has. I think this is a super fun idea for my dolls. I can't wait to take pictures of them and put them into their dollhouse and our little shop that they have. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and make sure you share your pictures of your crafts with me on Instagram. All the links will be in the description. That's it. Bye, guys.